Hello. Uh, I'm Chayden, this is Yue, and our hack is a, an application of the recent research we've been doing uh, at Nementa regarding sensory motor inference and temporal pooling. So uh, we'll show you a little robotics-based hack uh, on that. So this is actually the first, uh, the first experiment we use real world data and test the algorithms. So it's, the setup is very simple. We have a small robot there, has an IR sensor that's taking uh, the distance between some objects. It has a range between uh, about five centimeters to up to 30, 40 centimeters. So uh, it also has a motor on the back. If you only look at the sensor part, it looks random because I, uh, we program it to move randomly to sample a uh, big spot of world. Uh, but if you consider both the sensory input and the motor command, it contains some information about the layout of the world. And if you also, if you change the spatial configuration of the world, you might uh, get a sense of this is a new environment versus the old one. Um, and change the way this part the algorithm. Yeah, so a little bit of the theory um, before we show you the demo so you kind of understand what's going on. Uh, what we're doing is taking, in, taking this data from the sensor and the motor and feeding it in. Uh, using a scalar encoder to get SDRs and feeding it in, uh, both of them concatenated to layer four. And so if you think about it from the perspective of this robot, what it's seeing is it, it thinks, okay, I'm gonna move left now, and then it moves left and it senses how far away the object is using its IR sensor. And then it can turn right. Uh, I say, I'm gonna turn right now. What do I expect to see? How far away the object uh, is it supposed to be? And it can make a prediction. So in this case, layer four gets the information about the current sensor reading, how far away the object it's looking at is, and the motor command it's about to execute. And layer four basically learns those sensory motor transitions and learns to predict what it's gonna see next, what the sensor value it's gonna read next is gonna look like. So if this was predicted by layer four, if a transition was predicted by layer four successfully to learn that transition, then uh, now layer two, three can pull over those predicted transitions because now the world is more predictable it can build a stable representation for that world. So layer two, three pulls over it, does temporal pooling, and if it was unpredicted, then, this, uh, then you'll see bursting in layer four and, and uh, it'll pass through those changes. So what we hope to see is some uh, stable representation once uh, the world becomes predictable. So, uh, and layer two, three is, is supposed to learn high order transitions, but we didn't test that part. Okay, so let's take a look at the demo. Uh, disclaimer, this is a live robotics demo, so it <laughs> very likely uh, won't work. <laughs> it did work uh, in the uh, yesterday uh, in the room, and we took videos of it. But uh, go ahead and stand up so you can see. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. so there are three objects. This is a uh, robot. The sensor is uh, in the front, so it can sense the distance to the object. And it will move around to uh, sample the the three so its movements are random? It's random. Its movements are random. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except uh, it's with that, it yeah. tries to explore transitions it hasn't seen before. Yeah. So it's biased it's towards exploring to new things. Okay. It's, okay. Uh, it's initializing oh. now. So okay. what I'll do is. Um, so we want to look up there or we want to look over here? Uh, oh. I'll look right here. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> okay, so we just tell you to uh, do 30 random movements. 30 random movements. This is, by the way, the, nothing has been trained yet. The model is empty, hasn't learned anything yet at this point. So here what you're seeing is uh, the representation in layer four in the middle, representation in layer three at the top, and uh, the number of unpredicted cells in layer four at the bottom in that graph there. So, so it's starting to, everything's unpredicted. It starts to make some predictions, as you can see in the bottom graph there. And you'll see in the top layer, it made a sound. Um, <laughs> and that's it classified successfully this world. You have to see a stable representation in layer yeah, three. This is only showing you know, a subsample of the, the number of columns. So yeah, yeah, this is just a subset of the number of columns. But you'll see some stability there. So now in layer, in, for this world, if there's a stable representation that's built because uh, layer four is able to predict. Switch to a different world. Oh, it's a whole new world. 
Yeah, I, ju I just changed the spatial configuration. So it so looks, it should look, yeah. Yeah, we mark the lines so that we can go back to the, pri uh, to the first word. Right, Later. which we'll do in a second. Uh, but it looks, it looks different, we'll see what it, um, what it sees and what it represents. So it's going to go from the so same you see, so no, zoom in here, predicted. and you'll see that it's more, everything's unpredicted again, because it hasn't seen this before. Layer three, there's, it, there's no stability, it keeps changing between the representations. Um, and soon, you see that it starts making predictions in layer four. And it recognized this as a new world. Um, and you see this representation here is stable, right? But it's different from this representation for the previous world. And you see in this classification here, it used to say zero. For the previous world, now it says one. And it also played a different sound. <laughs> now, uh, maybe I'll go back to the first world to see whether it can recall the same. Are you sure that that's exactly the first world? We try to mark the. Uh, the positions. Yeah, there'll be some small variations. Yeah, in the, there's noise in the sensors, the motors, and in our movements here. Um, but hopefully, it can be past that. It was this one. Somewhat new world. We can always run it again, right? Okay, so let's see what it sees. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not perfect. So there's yeah, so the prediction, so there's noise, right? It's the predictions are, some yeah. of the columns are still bursting. Yeah. Uh, but is that because it's a slightly different? It's slightly yeah. different, yeah, because of different. noise and our setup. So is it going to think of it as a new system? Or is it just a no, no you'll see up there, right there. It, see, this was the representation I had yeah. for World Zero. Yeah. This is the representation that now it's so interesting. So it, it somehow generalized a little bit, accepted this noise, and said, yeah, I'm going to right. consider it. It didn't think of it as a new world. It just says it. Yeah. Because wow, it's a twice world. Anomaly. Okay. Yeah. So we can do it. We'll do a little we'll anomaly. We'll try the same world again, but this time I will move one object away. Like, go for it. Yeah. You, you can move it. Well, that's it. So. I just take one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Spooky new world. Let's see what. <laughs> what is this new reality? So some some of the th seeing there's some predictions you can see, but also some uh, unprediction, uh, unpredictable thing because, right? Yeah. And you'll see there's no stable representation in layer three, um, but should have maybe done more time steps. You think it would learn as a new world then? Yeah, but I think I didn't actually allow it, give it enough time. I didn't yeah. do it. Close. Oh, yeah, oh, so oh, so just, zero. just needed a couple more steps. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's just uh, let's do uh, a couple more steps. Two minutes. Um. <laughs> 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 That's Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, essentially you see that with the anomalous world, uh, it wasn't able to consistently predict, so it didn't settle into a stable representation. It's still learning though? Right? Except, it's still uh, learning, yeah. It's classifying it as world zero. It's classified as world zero for some reason. <laughs> so that's not as unexpected. World zero is the first one. World zero is the first one. So that's interesting, yeah. Yeah. It's classified as the, Pushing your luck as the first one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, we tried something we, we hadn't tested yet. We just got after the class. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so there's, the, there's the stability and distinction in layer three. And that's okay. where we're going. So. All right. All right.